absolutely all by the moon to be here. Uh, put it into your words, Cheryl. Why, why is this project important to you? Why are you trying to make sure this is happening in your, in your home city? I mean, this is obviously really a hot, a hot thing for me because this is where I'm from. So I like to help youth all over the country if I could, but I want to start in the heart of Newcastle because that's my hometown and where I grew up. And I found struggles myself as a teenager. And if I hadn't been fortunate enough to get out, I, I don't know where my life would be right now. So about seven years ago, I had a real, real big desire to want to do this and help youth. And here we are now today with the Princess Trust. Um, I know that they've been very excited about seeing you there. Um, you really think that this can make a difference to young people's lives, can you? At this, at, you know, this is a vulnerable age for people, isn't it? It's an incredibly vulnerable age, yes, absolutely. I mean, people find themselves in all sorts of problems and, and can end up really lost, you know, self-esteem issues, confidence issues. I mean, people that have actually come to the centre already have said that talking to people here is the first time they've actually been listened to and somebody's actually believed that they can achieve stuff. So the fact that my centre can provide that for people that are feeling vulnerable and lost means the absolute world to me. And you said it's been a, a long-term plan and it's finally come to fruition. Why uh, did you choose to work with the Prince's Trust? When I was a teenager, there used to be um, an option of getting a loan from the Prince's Trust. So at one point I did consider that because you could get, say, music equipment or, you know, whatever it was that you, your dream was, you could get help from them because this loan would provide you with whatever it was you needed. And I did consider that at around 14 or 15 years old. So I was always aware of them even before I was in the fortunate enough position to be able to contact them. Um, so yeah, I always wanted to partnership with them because I related to what their cause was. So the partnership just felt natural and real and yeah, we, we are the perfect marriage. Um, you, um, you talk about a little bit of luck, didn't you, um, in, your, in your early years. Um, just, um, you know, young people going into the music industry now, what would your message to them be? Sorry, I didn't quite hear you with that oh, question. Oh, it's all right. I was going to ask you, um, for young people now, considering going into the music industry, what would your message be to them? Yes. To the, going into the music industry, I would say that you need to know exactly what every area of the music industry involves, what you're getting into, who means what to you on your way, because it's not just you on your own. I mean, it's, you know, you have a team of people that help you with everything that you need from management to labels to branding, you know, all of that. You need to know what it is you're getting involved with and be educated on it like any other job that you would be going into. It's not, it's not just dancing and singing. It is, you know, a job and it involves a lot of people and you need to know what it is that you're doing and who it is you're working with. And Cheryl, hopefully you can hear. I, I, I wondered, is, it, is a day like this frustrating for you when you're trying to focus on you know, what you're doing there and then so much of your personal life is, is in the papers at the moment? Is it frustrating? Yeah. No, it doesn't bother me at all because my focus is solely on this. I've waited for seven years to finally be here and none of that matters. This is the most important part for me. And what will you be doing with some of the young people we can see behind you today? Are you spending the day there? I am spending the day here. Um, some of these people are actually doing what we call a STEM project at the moment. Say good morning. Morning. <laughs> they can't share you, obviously, because I've got the... <laughs> um, yeah, <laughs> no, it's really exciting. I'm going to be spending time with these guys today and obviously doing other bits around the centre. The centre is huge. Um, we've got a massive kitchen area. We have all different departments that are doing different stuff. We have three different systems that are doing all different things to help youth and we're going to help thousands and thousands of youth change their lives so fingers crossed it all works out and and i want to just say to anybody if you're feeling any type of way vulnerable sad lost the doors here like you're more than welcome we'll invite you with open arms no matter what age no matter what stage like please come down here that's what we're here we're here to help you so accept it and come and get some help and have a chance. <laughs> well, thank you very much for talking to us this morning and uh, all the best with your new thank centre you. there in Newcastle. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. Will you make them a Good cup morning, of tea, Cheryl? <laughs> She's gone. Oh, I'm a wee now. Don't trust us. I'm a wee to get a cup of tea as I, as, as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank, thank you, you very much.